everyone, it's Miss Gardner. Today we're going to do an experiment called the golf ball versus ping pong ball. So we have two balls. This is the golf ball and this is the ping pong ball. And we're going to test Newton's laws on these two objects. So the experiment states that you have to make a hypothesis guessing what would happen to, to the ping pong ball versus the golf ball when you exert a constant force on the different type of ball. So now, um, if you haven't done that, just pause this video and we can get started if you have. So first off, I'm going to test out the ping pong ball. And what you're gonna do is set it up about an inch away from the table. And you're gonna hold your ruler if you have one at home. You can definitely try this. And we're gonna try to pull back the ruler so that we get a constant force on the ping pong ball. So we're taking it back about an inch from the table. There it goes. Okay, now we're going to try the same amount of force, so the same amount that I pulled back on the ruler on the golf ball. We're going to try our best. It's not going to be exactly the same, but we're going to do our best to try to get a constant force on both objects. So I'm pulling it back about an inch, and that's how far it went. So we're going to try to do now is try to get a constant acceleration. So we want the golf ball and the ping pong ball to try to travel at the same speed about. It's going to be difficult, but we're going to try. So starting with the ping pong ball, we're just going to bring it, bring the force back just a little bit. Okay, that was still pretty quick, but I have faith that we can do this. So put the golf ball here. And then, oh, it's rolling. And then we're going to pull it back. All right, that was as good as I can do. It wasn't perfect, but I probably pulled the ruler back, I would say, with a force of like three times more, maybe four times more. And we're going to think about how that has to deal with the masses of the two balls and how they are different. So the ping pong ball being a lot lighter than the golf ball. And I hope that was a good experiment for you guys to learn about Newton's laws and that you took something away from it and maybe you'll try it at home. Um, and that's it. Alright, bye! <laughs>